G'day mate, thanks for dropping by. When I bought my uh, Trangia 27, I also bought some accessories and I thought I'd just run through that with you. Now the model I bought was the 27-3, which means it's the basic Trangia. And instead of having the aluminium frying pan, you get a non-stick. Most of the YouTube uh, videos show that uh, users recommend swapping out the standard aluminium frying pan for non-stick. The other options are hard anodized, which means the two saucepans and the frying pan have got a coating on them, but apparently that still means that food can stick. The other option is the duo sow, which means the pots, the interior, is stainless steel and the exterior is aluminium. That would seem to be a very good option, but it was about twice the price for what I paid for this particular set. So, let's have a look at some of the accessories that I bought with my 27-3 model. First, a material, a synthetic material bag when it's folded up. Everything goes in there. Very easy to put it in your backpack or in your camping box and it all stays together. Next was the multi-disc. Uh, this one is for the model 27. This multi-disc has several purposes. Firstly, it can serve as a lid for either of the pots. It can also enable straining of liquid when you're cooking. It can also be used as a cutting board. And probably not that applicable in Australia, but it can also be used as a base for the system if it's on snow. Probably more common in the USA and in Northern Europe. The pan, when it's packed up, uh, sorry, the multi-disc, when you want to pack it up with the system, can easily fit in there and it actually can protect the uh, non-stick base when you're folding up the cook set. Now, one of the models that is available in the 27 is actually inclusive of the kettle. The model that I bought with the non-stick fry pan does not. So that means if you want the kettle, you have to buy that as an accessory, and that's what I did. This is a uh, kettle. Fits perfectly in there. Probably you would get two small cups of hot water out of it for tea or coffee. And once again, when you're packing up the system, it is actually designed, it will in fact go inside and then you can put your burner and, and spondorical can sit on top. So that's another excellent accessory if you buy this particular model of course I think it's the 27-2 which actually has all aluminium and the kettle included okay the final accessory I bought which came on special through Anaconda is a gas burner now, the traditional model is a mess burner, but in some conditions, particularly um, if you are going to be in cold or windy conditions or you've got a lot of cooking, you can in fact replace the mess burner with a gas burner and that threads through and then you have to attach that to a gas cylinder. So they're the accessories I've bought. I'm 
very pleased with those accessories. I'm very pleased with the particular model I bought with the non-stick frying pan. I think if I had probably more money, I would probably consider the duo sow being stainless steel. The two pots would have the stainless steel inner, aluminium outer. The frying pan, I still think the uh, non-stick fry pan is the better option than the stainless steel, but um, I'm pleased with what I've bought anyway. Anyway, thanks for popping by and we'll see you next time.